Okay, this next stretch is called a ballerina. It's one of my all time favorite list of stretches because it's, it's very time effective. It's hitting three muscles all at once. So if we do it right, we can get our TFL, we can get our QL in our lower back and we can get our lats all at once. So a little bit, a little bit complicated the first time you do it, but once you've got the hang of it, it's nice and easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my left side. So I'm gonna do my left side my right foot is going to come across my body, okay? The way to think of it is the arm that comes up is the left, it's the left, is the leg that goes back, okay? So left leg behind right, left arm up to the ear. That's our start position, okay? When you do this, if you can have a flat, clean wall to go against, that's ideal, because what it's going to do is keep your hips and your shoulders square, because there is a tendency to tilt as you're doing this stretch. So, God, it's hot in here today. So, arm up to ear, opposite arm gets hold of forearm, and then I tilt to the right to elicit the stretch on the left. And I'm feeling for a stretch all down this side and just in the top, um, top of the leg, just below the crest of the pelvis, okay? If you can't feel that lower one, try tweaking your, tweaking your hips forward and back and you should be able to feel it. Once I can just feel the stretch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually ease off. So now I can't feel anything. Now this is the activation part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this arm and straighten my body like so, like I'm trying to come over, but this arm's gonna block the movement. So I just feel the stretch, I ease off, and now I'm writing myself to the, pushing to the left Bad choice of word. I'm pushing to the left, blocking with this arm, 30 to 40% effort for 10 to 12 seconds. I'll say that's 12 seconds and the stop, relax, and I'll find I can go slightly further into the stretch. I'll find where it stretches now, back off, and I'll just wait there. So I'm just hanging out just before that feeling of stretch, again for 10 to 12 seconds. After 10 to 12 seconds, I'll activate again by trying to right myself. Resisting, this arm's blocking. After do that for 10 to 12 seconds again, then I'll stop, relax, and I can go slightly further over, find the new stretch, and then ease off. So when I ease off, I'm just on the cusp of feeling the stretch, so I'm not feeling it, I'm just before that point. I'll wait there for 10 to 12 seconds, and then I'll activate again by trying to straighten myself up, but stopping with this arm here. After 10 to 12 seconds for the third one, I'll stop, relax, go over, find a new stretch, ease off slightly, and I'll just hang out here for 20 to 24 seconds. And after 24 seconds, I'll just relax, come out of it, and that's the stretch complete. Now, it is so warm today. Now, if you are struggling, if you have a shoulder complaint on this side and you're struggling with your arm towards here, there's an alternate method. It's like I'm a little teapot, yeah? So you have your arm as high as you can, you come over, but this hand's on the hip now, okay? And to activate, all I'm gonna do this time is instead of, is I'm gonna push into my hips like I'm doing this, but block with this hand. Block, 10 to 12 seconds, relax, and then push through with this hand get the stretch, so I'm really trying to lean over. Get my arm where I can, where it's comfortable, and I'll do the stretch that way, okay? Harder if you have difficulty in this range of movement, but you can achieve it still, you still can achieve it, okay? And then you swap over, so if the right arm's going up and the right leg's behind, yeah, and then over you go and repeat on the opposite side. And that's it, that's the, uh, that's the ballerina. Great for your shoulders, great for your lower back, great for your hips.